Uh, hi. Um, Dell sent me a laptop. This is the Dell Precision 5750 mobile workstation. It's got 64 gigabytes of RAM, six gigs of VRAM, and spoiler alert, I love this thing. Now, before we actually dive into this laptop, a little bit of disclosure. Dell did send me this thing for free, but they're not paying me to make this video. It actually isn't a requirement that I make a video. I don't think, maybe it is, I don't know. I just had a kid, my brain's a little foggy. Either way, no money exchanged hands. They don't get to see this video before it's released. However, this video is sponsored by Tascade, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Let's do a quick tour. Like I said, on the inside, this thing's got 64 gigs of RAM. It's powered by the Intel Xeon W chips. If you're not familiar with the Xeon chips, the Xeon W is the chip that they use for more graphics intensive work like video editing. So that's super, super nice. It's also got an Nvidia Quadro RTX 3000 with six gigabytes of VRAM, which is really, really, really awesome. As far as storage is concerned, it's got two 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD drives, one for the OS and then one for storage, which is very, very handy. You always wanna keep your OS and then your storage separate. It's very, it's a lot better for the computer and it allows you to work a little bit faster when you're video editing. As far as IO is concerned, this thing's got two USB-C ports on this side with Thunderbolt 3. It's got an SD card reader, a headphone jack, which is powerful enough to drive my ATH M50Xs, which is super cool. On the other side, we've got two more USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 3. So that makes four USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 3. Now this does charge via USB-C, so that takes up one of the ports if you have this thing plugged in. It also doesn't have any USB-A ports or HDMI ports, but it does ship with a dongle that will give you one of each. So, you know, that's nice. On the inside of this thing, first we've got an auto on 4K 17 inch touch display. It's also got a really nice carbon fiber feel here, a precision touchpad, which is nice and sensitive, a really nice keyboard. I don't really know anything about keyboards, but I can tell you it's like not too loud, not too clacky, and it's really comfortable and uh, it, it, it's, it's just really easy to use. It's also got Windows Hello, which means I've got a fingerprint reader right up here and also, eye detection. So I can take a look, just look here and boom, it unlocked. So there's your tour. There's all the important stuff. Now let's talk about why. Why have I been using a laptop for the last two weeks when I've got a perfectly good custom PC from Puget Systems sitting right here in front of me? And in order to answer that, I actually kind of have to tell you a story that goes back about 20 years when I first became an electrician. See, when I first became an electrician, I learned two very important lessons. One of those we're not gonna touch on today. It has to do with why I stopped daily vlogging a couple of years ago. But the other lesson that I learned is always use the right tool for the right situation because it's gonna, you know, cut back on the amount of time you're spending. Because if you're trying to like retrofit a tool or use the wrong tool for the situation that you're in, you're gonna waste time, you're not gonna get the job done right, it, and the, you get the idea. And that's why I love my custom build for Puget Systems because it's not only optimized for video editing, it's optimized for video editing in DaVinci Resolve Studio, which happens to be what I use, but it's not always the right tool for the right situation. For example, let's say I'm traveling and I'm up against a deadline and I need to edit on the go, I can't really pack up my custom PC and ship it to wherever I am. I need something more portable. I, I need the right tool for the right situation. And that's where the Dell Precision 5750 comes in. And that also kind of leads me into why I love today's sponsor, Tascade. Look, I have tried everything to keep myself organized when it comes to all of my video production stuff. I've tried spreadsheets and calendars and you name it, I have tried it and I have always failed. I've always lost track of things. I haven't been able to keep up with stuff. I've, I, it's just, I, I could not get organized and that's because 
I wasn't using the right tool for the right situation. Then along came Taskade, which allows me to brainstorm ideas, manage projects, and organize tasks all from one simple, easy to use app that I can get to on my laptop, on my desktop, on my phone, on my tablet, you name it, I can get to it. I can see what's going on and I can organize everything. Taskade is a whole bunch of really cool features, including a calendar view so I can see everything that's going on, the ability to change views in my projects so I can make sure that it makes sense to my brain. It allows me to create new projects using a whole bunch of pre-existing templates or create my own custom templates. It's also got a lot of collaborative features like the ability to add people to my projects, do chats, and comments within the projects themselves and video call right from within the app. One of my favorite things about Taskade is the ability to separate things into different workspaces. So I've got a home workspace, I've got a YouTube workspace, I've got a freelance workspace. And so no matter what's going on, I can look in those different workspaces and see what I have to do next. It really has helped me get a bird's eye view of everything that's going on in my life. So if you're busy like me and you're looking for a simple, easy, yet powerful way to get organized and stay on top of your tasks, make sure you click the link in the description and check out Taskade today. All right, now let's talk about what I like, what I don't like. Let's let's do the actual review here. I've been using this, like I said, for the last couple of weeks. I've been putting it through its paces and I've been using it as if I were actually traveling. So I haven't been using a mouse or anything like that. I've been using the trackpad, the keyboard and, and everything to do editing. And I will say, as far as performance is concerned, this thing rivals the the Puget Systems build, really. The render times are very, very comparable. There's almost no lag. I can fly through and edit, no, no problem. They, everything works great. I also love that even though this is a 17 inch laptop, the bezels are so thin that it fits into a 15 inch sleeve. So I can stick this thing in my camera bag if I'm on the go and I don't have to worry about it. It's nice and light. It's only like maybe just over four pounds. So traveling with it is super, super easy. It's got a nice aluminum chassis. And that, like I said, that carbon fiber feel on the inside, the upwards facing speakers right here. It's really, really nice. And the display looks great too. I did a quick calibration using my X-Rite iDisplay Pro Plus, And ever since then, everything looks absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm super, super impressed with everything about this laptop. In fact, the only thing, the only negatives I really have to say have nothing to do with the laptop itself, but just, you know, editing on a laptop in general is always going to be a little bit more difficult than editing on, you know, a big giant custom build. For example, it is only a 17 inch display. So real estate is a little bit limited. It's sometimes hard to see the little details. Also the touchpad, I mean, just editing with the touchpad, especially color grading using those color wheels is not the easiest thing in the world. It takes some getting used to, but it really will get the job done. If you practice with it and you get used to it, you can do whatever you need to with this thing. Also the IO, I mean, yes, we've got our USB-C ports, we've got the SD card reader and all that stuff. But I mean, if you take a look at my Puget build, I've got an audio interface, I've got a card reader, I've got two monitors, I've got my you know speakers, I've got a whole bunch of stuff plugged into this thing and I would have to rig this out with a whole bunch of dongles in order to get all of that set up on the laptop. So still, like I said, for a big edit, for being at home, I'm still going to lean towards the custom build, but on the go, this, this is the right tool for the right situation. It is perfect for editing in DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, in short, I absolutely love this laptop. It exceeds the minimum spec requirements for DaVinci Resolve. It's easy to travel with, it's lightweight. I couldn't ask 
for anything more. So thank you so much, Dell, for sending me out this laptop. If you guys want to check out the Dell Precision 5750 for yourself, there will be a link below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. Just, you know, go check it out, see what they have to offer. But if you're not interested in this and you want to see maybe what those minimum spec requirements are so you can shop for a different laptop, make sure you check out this video right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.